Predators are animals that eat other animals. And predators have to be pretty lucky to survive. That's because so many prey animals have special adaptations to help them get away. Rocky Mountain bighorns use protective coloring or camouflage to hide from predators. Their pale color makes the sheep difficult to see in the bright desert surroundings. Test yourself. How many sheep do you see in this picture? Even as the camera closes in, until they move, the bighorns are almost impossible to see. Other prey animals, like porcupines, have clever defenses. If you've ever been stuck with a porcupine quill, you know it hurts! <coughs> Many large prey animals, like antelope, deer, and elk, rely on speed to outrun predators. They also have excellent hearing to help them detect and attack. And here's one more adaptation that helps many prey animals. See how the eyes on this elk are positioned wide apart on the side of its head. That gives an elk a wide range of vision to help spot an approaching predator. But prey animals aren't the only ones with special tricks. Predators have some pretty sneaky ways of getting what they want. Most predators have binocular vision. That means their eyes are set close together so they can look straight ahead and see over great distances. Binocular vision helps predators like this wolf spot its prey. Some predators use explosive bursts of speed to chase their victims so they can run, swim, or fly much faster than their prey. Other predators, like this coyote, wait quietly and then suddenly ambush an unsuspecting animal. Here is a predator that will scare almost anyone, a snake. This boa constrictor uses its entire body to kill prey. The boa wraps itself tightly around a rat and squeezes until the rat is dead. The snake goes about the slow process of swallowing its dinner. At this point, we've seen some of the more obvious predators out there, but predators are everywhere some of them in places you might never suspect. Did you know that many birds are also predators? That's because they too eat other animals. Check out this blue heron. He's eating a rainbow trout. Are his eyes bigger than his stomach or what? All in all, predators are pretty clever creatures and prey animals are awfully smart too. And even though predators chase prey, and prey are always trying to trick predators, the two are not what you'd call enemies. It's more like they are each trying to outsmart the other while living out their specific roles in nature. In fact, predators and prey depend on each other in ways you might never expect. For example, when a population of prey animals suffers, the predator of that animal will suffer too. Did you know every 10 years, the population of jackrabbits naturally drops off? Bobcats rely on jackrabbits for food. What will the bobcats do? With fewer jackrabbits to eat, many bobcats will starve to death. In this way, the population of prey animals control the populations of predators. So next time you see a predator in the wild, don't think it's mean just because it eats other animals. Predators are doing just what nature intended. If you want to learn more, head to the Science Trek website or check our related videos. And if you like Science Trek, be sure to click the subscribe button to catch our newest videos.